is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and older. So, welcome to Saturday. Today is Saturday for me, and sometimes I do a show called Canvas Upcycle Recycled uh, Fashion. I do a show similar to this on my Dark Moon Doll channel here and there it's called the same thing, only minus the cannabis. <laughs> and um, today I want to share with you some of the things I've been doing as far as upcycle, recycled, uh, wearable art. It's ongoing projects that I have going on that I decide to work on any given day. Um, so the first thing I wanted to show you is um, right along the the lines of something you can actually wear and it's been going on I've been working on this project for quite a while some years and with these kind of upcycle recycle wearable art projects some of them could take years to make because I'm putting fine details on it one piece at a time and it's all being hand sewn and hand embroidered so yeah um, I'm gonna share that with you and first I'm gonna have a sip of my tea what do I have in this tea <laughs> without spilling it, showing you and spilling it. I have uh, cinnamon, turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, turmeric, ginger, and one other ingredient, thyme. <laughs> so. It's a really cold day today, um, really chilly. Um, yeah, <laughs> bundle up. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the cinnamon really uh, is cheerful. The cheerful, is it a cheerful flavor? Festive flavor. <laughs> so I'm gonna be smoking a joint on this show. I already scorched this one last night. I rolled it. If you see, it's clear. I rolled it with the cellulose papers, those clear papers. So um, it's only scorched a little bit on the on there. I rolled it with sugar shake. If you don't know what sugar shake is, sugar shake is when you. If you're a cannabis grower, you grow your plants, go to harvest them, you, the little nugs on the bottom of the plant and the leaves and the stems, that ends up being sugar shake. You take the stems, put them to the side, make a very medicinal cannabis stem tea with that. You could take the leaves and the buds and grind them up, put them in the joint, in a pipe, in edibles. There you go. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have my lighter over here as per usual now. <laughs> Here it is. I found it. All right. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope this inspires you to recycle and upcycle because a lot of times when I partake of cannabis, it makes me aware of things I wasn't really that much aware of. And when I first really got into recycling fabrics, um, I was partaking in a lot of cannabis. I was in meditation and I would see things in meditation pertaining to my art through the usage of cannabis and it would give me ideas of what I can do to recycle this and that type of fabric instead of just chucking it in the trash so yep alrighty guys thanks for joining me cheers oh nice 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 <laughs> I need an ashtray. <coughs> Why is it that I, <coughs> we've got a gazillion <coughs> ashtrays around this place? <coughs> <coughs> and I never <coughs> can seem to keep one over here. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, I'm going to go for ashtray. Ashtray surge. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Every time it's an ashtray. It's an ashtray my son made me a long time ago and I kept it. <laughs> He was into making all kinds of cool shit like that, like this. I mean, it seemed cool to you, but it was cool to me when I received it. <laughs> all those years gone by. Right, let's take another puff, and then I'll show you some of the shit. Some of the shit. <laughs> some of the artwork I got going on. I'm still waking up. <laughs> Wake up and burn down this this room here. Shit. 
<coughs> Good thing I'm not wielding a torch this morning. <laughs> I'm not going to turn on the fan. It's too freaking cold in here. <coughs> i got to heat it up in here. So I try, I'll try not to make it too smoky so I won't set off the smoke detector, smoke alarm. Oh, man, that's delicious. Have some more tea, and then I'll get to showing you, showing you some things here. I've been working a lot on fabric beads, to tell you the truth, and I've been working a lot, lately. as far as art just in general, I've been working on a lot of fabric beads because I feel like a lot of my projects can be completed if I just totally fill them with beads. Just i just been having those kind of images in my mind when I meditate, and <laughs> you know when you meditate, sit down to meditate, all kinds of stuff comes through your mind, but a lot of times art ideas for art comes to my mind when I'm meditating and I just kept seeing a lot of beads just keep making beads because I can cover things completely in beads for example I made a purse a long, not a long time ago but quite some time ago and I sold it uh, I think last year I think it was like towards the end of last year so thank you to Aaron Bonesteel for buying that um, yeah but that that purse that I made was going almost completely paper beads only it's just totally filled with beads and I've just been wanting to do more of that type of thing with my projects and just especially the wearable art just cover it in beads and I think beads <clears throat> are really cool because they have they create a, a certain pattern they create a certain movement in what you're making so yeah so Man, the tea is really good. <laughs> so, uh, you probably have seen these beads that I've I've showed you these, but I've been making more of them. And it's a, it's a simple uh, design, pretty much. And you could go back and look at my past uh, cannabis upcycle recycle wearable art shows where I show you how to make these beads. They're very simple, yet they take time. It's it's simple, but yet takes time. So. If you're going to sit down and make some beads like this, just know you're going to have some time on your hands. So, <laughs> but yeah, these are the beads that I've been working on. <clears throat> so kind of jack-o'-lantern-y looking uh, with this pattern that I was, that was donated to me from um, the Baked Alaskan. And the Baked Alaskan has her own uh, YouTube channel you can check out with that name, the Baked Alaskan. And she, uh, she's an artist as well, so she has some extra scraps of fabric. So this is what I did with those, some of those extra scraps of fabric. I did that with it. <clears throat> and I think it looks pretty good so far, so good. I'm just keep on keeping on making more and more beads. This one is plain. I didn't put any, um, I didn't put any designs on this one. Let me take it off of the string. <clears throat> I didn't take it, I didn't put any designs on it, see? It's just a plain old round bead, but with this really cool design, this fabric. It, this can even be used as a, as a dreadlock bead if you wanted it to be. These beads that I'm making, all of them actually that I have on here can be used as dreadlock beads as well. <clears throat> so, I've been making a lot of beads. Um, I've been working on this uh, Rastaman um, doll, which isn't upcycle, recycle fashion per se, but... <laughs> You can't wear him, <laughs> but you could check out a video I did about him on my Instagram. It was a little mini video. I showed you the update of it, so you can check him out there. Um, as I was unpacking more of my upcycle, recycle, wearable art projects, which I have quite a few, <laughs> I came across this this dress that I started making, and it's based on like um, it's just the fabrics fabrics from a shirt <clears throat> from many different shirts <laughs> and I just tacked them together to make a, sh a really cool uh, upcycled dress it's a long ass friggin dress and I'm still working on it but it's calling to me for some reason I feel like I should keep working on it I've got some figures in the back that I've embroidered on it <clears throat> it's like it is kind of like a quilt like somebody mentioned uh, years ago <laughs> when I uh, showed this for the first time it is kind of like a quilt 
So, um, I've been feeling like I need to work on this more. Uh, so I'm going to do that today. I'm going to work on this a lot more. Um, wanting to make beads for it because I like, like I said, I like beading and I think it would be cool to fill a garment. I've already done a handbag, but a garment completely with just beads on it. <clears throat> well, not maybe not completely, but most of it completely beat it and this is one of them that I want to do that with so uh, so basically all day I'm gonna be making beads um, some people some some people ask if I would sell the beads as a set <coughs> um, I could try that see how that works I've done it before and sometimes it sells and sometimes it doesn't sell so that's why I've just been creating the beads just for the garments that I've been working on and also for the handbags that I've been selling or wanting to get ready to sell. I've got a, a few handbags on there right now. One of the handbags that I was selling uh, just re just expired. So <clears throat> the listing expired on it. So I might just sell that, try to sell that outside of my Etsy shop so that, um, yeah, you guys have a chance to buy who don't want to go and get an Etsy account so but yeah this is one that I'm really having a lot of fun with mainly because of these figures too because I was trying to incorporate what by doing these figures I was trying to incorporate <clears throat> some of what I do in some of my drawings my uh, stream of consciousness drawings uh, let me show you what I mean by that I'll be right back like these drawings these uh, energy beings <laughs> drawings like this I was trying to uh, I felt like I was feeling led to make these kind of figures that I actually draw onto fabric through embroidery. And I've really gotten hooked on embroidery big time. Um, <clears throat> I did say I wanted to experiment with doing, um, <clears throat> with crocheting and knitting. And I, I gave it an attempt. I'm not saying I'm giving up, but I've been more drawn towards embroidery and doing designs like this with it. I need to get more thread because <laughs> I only have black thread and gray thread and silver, I think. Gray, black, and silver. And then a really thick off white colored thread that's really thick. So <laughs> I need some colors. So um but in the meantime what I'm gonna what I've been doing is making these beads. And embroidering um only one did I not embroider. And <clears throat> on this, um it's so much color going on on this thing, <laughs> especially on this one piece right here, this one figure. And, uh, yeah, I really like that, that whole idea of the figures on here. And I want to, like I said, I want to incorporate a lot of beads on here. Just totally fill this thing up with beads. And, um, it won't be that hard to do. It's just, it takes time. And, <clears throat> If you want things to be done right away with these upcycle, recycle projects, you have to stay on them, like do a little bit of something on it every day. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> so, where's my lighter at? Oops. I'm always losing my lighter in the midst of all this fabric. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I was really, I've been really wanting to work, work on this one, especially. There's so much time and effort put into the embroidery on this. I just keep pointing this out, this figure on here. So, um, I'm just going to co cover it with lots of embroidery, lots of, lots of beads. <clears throat> and, uh, it's just going to be, it's going to have movement to it. When you look at it, it's going to look like it moves because I've noticed that the more textures and more patterns I put on something the more it looks like it has movement and I like that in a garment that I make if it has movement to it um I'm no professional fashion designer that's for sure um I didn't never did learn how to sew on a sewing machine uh really well <clears throat> I took some lessons from my sister uh one one night that turned into a the next day and I just couldn't hang with it. I was just making a simple pencil skirt. I couldn't do it. It was just exhausting for me. Uh, so I didn't stick with it. <clears throat> but uh, later on in life, um, I ended up just sewing by hand. 
you know, got grabbed myself some uh, some threads and needle and some fabric and just started sewing by hand. And what I've noticed is when I was sewing by hand, I'm feeling really relaxed and it takes a lot of the tension off of the day. If I'm feeling really stressed out or anxiety ridden, if I can sit down and put needle and thread to fabric, then I feel a lot calmer and a lot more um, at ease and balanced in my mind and in my soul, <laughs> you know, I just, you have to find those kind of things that will help you or else you just are just going to be one big gigantic stress ball of anger and resentment and guilt and fear. So when you find something to just so focus in on, something that's creative, it opens up a whole new world to you that you didn't realize existed. And that's what happened with me when I started to just try to implement the ideas that were coming to me onto fabric. I know it looks like a mess right now, but I feel like towards the end of the at the end of the project, it's going to come together a lot better. It's just like a puzzle I'm putting together. Um, I tried this dress on before and showed you guys what it looks like. Um, it may fit now differently because, you know, my body is shaped differently through the years. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like this. I wanted to save this fabric. That was really important for me because I liked this shirt. But this shirt was falling apart and I couldn't, I couldn't keep it as is. So I just thought... It, this is the best way to to save something that you really love by turning into a uh, some wearable art. So I might try this on. I'll pause it and try this on and I can show you guys what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. <laughs> um, I know it's hard to really see it completely, but yeah, I'm liking how it's looking, especially these figures on here. See the figure right here? Pretty cool. And then a figure right here, which I want to do more work on. It's just a goddess figure right there. And then I'll turn around and show you what the other side looks like. Let me stand up. Ah! <laughs> and then maybe I can just scoot down like so. But anyway, I don't know if you can see everything on the back. But this is just the... It's still a work in progress, but it's a combination of different... Of different fabrics, um, different designs, different patterns, and it gives it more movement. The sleeves are real, way big on me, <laughs> so it, that might change as I add more things on it. When I embroider or do beading on fabric, it tights, makes it tighter, so that'll might shrink, shrink the actual garment. But yeah, I'm really having a lot of fun with this one. It's a lot of fun, and. Um, I don't know when it'll ever be done, but I just keep adding more and more stuff on there. And the more that I add on there, the more it starts to look like it's forming into something. <laughs> A monster! No, I like this. It's fun. It's, it's festive. It's got movement to it because of the patterns on it. It's got my own handmade beads on it. This one's an owl that I did, an owl bead. But yeah, that's why I want to make a lot of beads, so that I can just make a fully beaded garment for the most part, almost fully beaded, because I still want to keep, you know, some of the patterns that are on the underlying uh, fabric. I still want those patterns to be seen, but I don't want to just completely just only this, so just beat it all up. So I'll be right back. I'm going to change out of this. Alright guys, thanks for joining me today for today's show for Upcycle and Recycled uh, Wearable Art. Canvas in the mix of it all. <clears throat> Where does canvas come into the mix? It comes into the mix because it helps with your creativity. And it helps you be more conscious of what you're doing to help this environment, help this world. And I feel like by recycling fabrics, I'm definitely helping this environment. And keeping, you know, huge piles of clothing to land into a landfill. So anyways, there you go. <laughs> so thanks for joining me today. Thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave me, leave me a comment down below and let me know if Canvas helps you to be more conscious about recycling, especially fabrics. There's so many fabrics that are just tossed to the wayside when you can use them for the, all the things I've been showing you on these on these shows that I've been doing. So. Thank you so much for joining me today. Brightest blessings to y'all and have a really creative Saturday.